Hey kid, I know that you might think that the name of this book, on account of the gum, is kind of funny, but the topic inside is no laughing matter. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's a pretty much of a laughing matter. <laughs> Not if you're the person who has been affected on account of the gum. Yeah, uh, how did that bunny get up there? All will be answered in due time, Pink Bear. Oh, so mysterious. I can tell that this is a disaster in the making, so I'm definitely going to be nearby. <laughs> It is a disaster in the making. I cannot lie to you. I never would. Are you ready to go inside and see what happened on account of the gum? You can already tell by the cover. It's going to be a disastrous situation. Ooh. First of all, we see all the different kinds of gum out there. The black cat, the big bubble, the bubble mint, the spear mint, the O gum. These are kind of Old timey too. I don't think I've seen a black cat gum in my whole life. Lucky, <laughs> not so lucky. Let's see. And the story begins only in pictures. So we see the kid, there she is in bed and she's chewing gum and blowing bubbles in bed, about to go to sleep. Do we think that that might be a potentially bad idea? I think it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> you should definitely do it. <laughs> Take it from me. Take it from me. You never want to follow her advice. So there she is in bed, blowing bubbles and oh, <clears throat> fell asleep. What is that right there? Is that the gum that's fallen out of her mouth? Hmm. And there she is waking up. <sighs> yeah. And there she is walking to the kitchen. Oh, wait, what is she? She's scratching her head. Is she feeling something there? Ba, ba, ba. Let's find out. That's the gum right there that you got in your hair. On account of the gum that you got in your hair, your dad said, sit still. And your sister said, duck. And you sat very still. Still, the scissors got stuck in the gum that you got in your hair. What? The scissors got stuck? Oh boy, this looks like a maybe potentially dangerous situation. I love it, scissors in the hair, the new style sensation. I think I'm gonna go get some myself. Mm. Okay. We went on some websites and all of them swear if you want to get scissors and gum out of hair, you take two sticks of butter and smear them along and, oh. I see. It appears that those websites were wrong. Oh no, this looks like it's going in the wrong direction. Oh la la, this is why we do not chew gum in Paris. This will never happen in France, oh la la. Well, I mean, it could happen anywhere, but. Don't give me that look. What? Look, this look, that's fine. Your aunt said she knew how to get the gum out from this tip in a book she was reading about. And she couldn't say where. The point is that that's why you have grass in your hair. Why is there grass in her hair? Hold on. She was reading about the pay in the paper or something. She couldn't say where. The point is that that's why you have grass in your hair. I guess the grass was supposed to get the gum out? You know what, well, we'll never really know what that article meant to say. Your grandpa, who said that your aunt was mistaken, is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. It's all in this bacony, noodly mass with the scissors, gum hair, sticks of butter, and grass. Oh, hmm. Huh. Your rabbit eats grass. Do you mind if I take a bite? You cannot take a bite. Oh, I'm just trying to help. No, thank you. Okay, but if you need me. I know. But it looks like they're gonna call in the rabbit to help. Mm-hmm. Because of the grass that you got in your hair, I assume that your rabbit could help us in there, but your rabbit just sat like it thinks it's a hat. So I thought, it'll leave if I bring in the cat. The cat with the rabbit. I know, but I can't stop them to tone. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. 
I know, you told us so. Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch, she'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to your head. <sighs> Wait, no, I'm thinking of the old cats. Me, me. I know. That's well, quite a head party she has going on there. Okay. Your aunt just came back and she has a new take. It's cake. She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'll be coming around anymore, though the cake that she made you wound up on the floor. That reminds me, happy birthday. This is all happening on her birthday? Oh, and it was a unicorn cake. Oh, that's just tragic. I know. Five second rule. All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We blow the gum out with a powerful fan. Plus every few seconds, we'll pop a balloon. And the guy with the bees said he'd get them here soon. Why is there a guy here with bees? I don't understand. Ah. And oh, I hear sirens, the firemen came. They complained when we called, but they came just the same with their hoses and one of those dogs and a cop and a big pot of chili. They're ready to stop. Oh my gosh. This is just worse and worse and worse. And why is there a man with a pot of chili about to pour it on her head and the cat is freaking out now? <coughs> This is quite the scene, I have to say. Get out! <laughs> Please! Oh, I think she's upset. Oh, this is just getting better and better. Keep reading! <laughs> it's weird for me to hear myself saying those words. It's weird for me to hear you saying those words too. Whoa. Okay, so she has had it. And everybody's leaving and the balloons, and the dog, and the police officer, and the fireman, and the man with the bees. Jeez, rude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that the gum that just literally jumped out of her hair and walked off? So that's the solution. Well, what do you know? Too bad about all of the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff that's still stuck in your hair. Whoop! Now your aunt is all stuck up in there. How did that happen? Ah! Ants. <laughs> Crazy. <sighs> anyway, you better get to school. Oh. Oh. It's a school day? Because otherwise, you're going to miss picture day. That's right, that's the face I just made. It's picture day. All right, everybody, let's go. On account of the gum. And let's see if we get to see her picture. Oh, there's her picture day. You know what? These pictures right here, she's gonna win for most memorable picture day in school for all time. And that's what happens on account of the gum that you cannot be chewing in bed. Absolutely, chew, chew, chew away. I cannot wait to hear the blood curling screams of children with cats and knives and butter in their hair. <laughs> you heard it from me first, chew gum in bed. And then you heard it from me second, do not chew gum in bed. Do not, do not, do not. Who are you gonna listen to? A crazy witch? <laughs> of course, me, because I'm the wise one here. You are not the wise one here. You are the wise one here. So now you know, if you chew gum in bed, you know what you're getting yourself into. Like, in to. See you next time, Kate, on Kate Time Story Time, where we definitely do not keep it sticky. Yeah.